every month I, I think uh, I get a letter from Duke University Med School or Duke University itself uh, that they're looking for money. They're fundraising letters. And they're professionally done and people who are experts know how to separate a dollar from my wallet and I'm not an expert in that but we sure need some help. The uh, approach that I've taken as a solo practitioner doing things on my own is, is a thing of the past. We now are doing academic work that requires the input of professionals, not just statisticians uh, and co-authors, but also uh, individuals involved in research design, uh, research collation, the interaction with peer-reviewed journals. And quite frankly, those uh, people do not necessarily work for free. What we're looking for is an average of $30,000 for each of five research projects that we have essentially finished. Uh, our nonprofit group has paid for most of these. Uh, uh, certainly, what we're looking for is a way to get peer reviewed published journal articles released that have the data necessary to make a difference. Now that we are knocking on the doors of uh, cutting edge science everything that we know to be true, everything that affects your illness and helps you get better, has got to be peer-reviewed, has got to be published, because if it's not published, it doesn't exist. Hard data costs money. And I'm coming to you hat in hand by saying that we have a need for five separate publications that are on the launching pad. We need about $30,000 for each one. I don't have anybody to give me a check for $150,000. But I do know that if we work together, those $5 and $10 and $100 is will add up to what we need. And we're going to keep on pushing every single way we can. The real issue is that the information that is so important is right here and now in our Excel files. With the statisticians, with the researchers, with the medical team that we've assembled, we can bring those papers to publication, to peer review, and then to your doctor. Because when you take them a paper and say, this is what I want you to read, it has more credibility and more weight than by saying, please do this protocol. Help us out. Please send a donation. It's tax deductible. The Center for Research on Biotoxin Associated Illness is a 501c3a organization. And we thank you for your help. Thank you for your ongoing support.